Hello guys, the year 2024 is coming to an end and it's time for some recaps, reflections and predictions for the future. So on the official Laravel YouTube channel, they have a playlist, what's new in Laravel. And in this video, I will try to make a list of what has been new in Laravel in 2024. The most important news, releases, and quite often you can feel whether the news item or release was important only after a while, only after a few months or even the full year, whether that feature was adopted or not, popular or not. So I've picked seven things from 2024, which I think were important, not only in Laravel, but around Laravel ecosystem. And also in tomorrow's video, so this will be a two part series. In tomorrow's video, I will talk about what's coming in 2025. What am I expecting? So let's go. The main thing in the beginning of the year in March was Laravel 11 release. And the main thing that was talked about after the release for months was new Skeleton. So on Laravel Daily, we had a tutorial at the time, main new features and slim Skeleton with some changes to the structure of the files. It took some time for people to get used to it, but majority, overwhelming majority of developers accepted it as a better way when you get used to it. And by the way, I will link all those articles that I mentioned in the description below so you can read them in full. So number one in 2024 is new Slim Skeleton from Laravel 11. Number two on my list of recap of 2024 is of course the investment. By the way, I'm putting this list not in the order of importance in pretty random order, but this is pretty important in my opinion. This kind of shook the whole ecosystem of Laravel developers to revisit the way of thinking about Laravel as a framework. And Taylor talked about the reasons behind the investment and what is changing, basically not much. And now it's already materializing into something. So in 2025, we'll talk about Laravel Cloud and Nightwatch, and we'll talk about them as well in the second part of this video. But basically Laravel is now backed by serious people with serious funding while still trying to maintain the same vibe of our beloved framework. We'll see how they do down the road in like two to five years, but I think it will be okay and exciting. Another thing that was released during Laracon is past version three in September. Here's the video by Nuno himself, and I've shot a few videos about the features that I thought were important. So architectural presets and mutation testing. Interestingly enough, it didn't catch as much attention as I was expecting, but I think with PEST 3 and with PEST being the default testing framework in Laravel now, in 2024, it grew even more with popularity. Another important thing about 2024, they released Inertia version 2, beta for now. I'm not sure maybe by the time this video airs is already out of beta, but it's still a big thing. The combined effort by team with Jonathan and Joe and Pedro and Taylor. And interestingly, Taylor has been talking about Inertia as kind of like a finished product a year ago or so, but then he changed his mind after talking to Jonathan and other community members. So they decided to put extra effort in Inertia version two with the features that you can see on the screen. The next thing I want to talk about is a few changes. I've grouped them into one thing, how to install Laravel. They introduced a few changes in Laravel and in the tooling to make it even easier, especially for newcomers coming outside of Laravel ecosystem. So for example, they released php.new with a new command to install everything you need on the fresh machine before working with Laravel. Then another new thing is a composer run dev command that was released in 11.28 version of Laravel. And you can see on the screen what it actually does. And with that, within the same release, Taylor made Tailwind as a core configured part within Laravel installation. I have a separate video about it. So installation of Tailwind in Laravel has been changed beforehand you needed to install Laravel Breeze or Jetstream or configure that manually. Now Tailwind comes with Laravel new in Laravel 11 with all the Tailwind config JS and everything preset. Another thing that was released in 2024 is pretty recently in November PHP 8.4, which is still not widely adopted, but some people say it's the most important release in a few years with some functions like property hooks and stuff without parentheses. You can read about all the new features as usual on the blog of Brent. He's been covering PHP new versions since as long as I remember. 
The final kind of important new release, I think, in 2024, at the end of the year, in November, they released PHP Stan version 2 with new level 10 that you can adopt. And again, I will link the original tweet by Andre here so you can read everything in full. And then as a follow-up, they released a Lara Stan version 3 that supports PHP Stan 2. So you can use PHP Stan underlying features in Laravel now with Lara Stan 3. Finally, not as news in 2024, but as an important part of what's Laravel in 2024, the state of Laravel survey by Tobias over the years has become a pretty good indicator of what is happening in the ecosystem and in the community of Laravel. So if we're talking about trends of 2024 versus 2023, and other years, to be honest, not much has changed. For example, PHP Storm versus VS Code, it's roughly on the same numbers. For example, databases are roughly at the same numbers. You can probably see the MySQL drop a bit in favor of SQLite. You could probably qualify SQLite rise as news in 2024 as a trend. But the most significantly changed number in that state of Laravel survey is this for me. So Vue.js drop is pretty significant in my opinion, and it is dropping every year, still going strong, but not as strong as in previous years. And Livewire is, I would say, skyrocketing. So my prediction is that we will see more content on Livewire in 2025, more people adopting it, partially with the help of filament. So I see a trend that Laravel developers try filament and then they realize their stall stack under the hood and they need to understand the live wire layer to customize it and then they come into live wire ecosystem. Apart from that, 2024 was roughly the same according to state of Laravel survey. But again, you can read that in full. I will link that in the description below.